One var stats is one of the most basic and useful statistical calculator functions that our TI-84 calculator will perform. One var stats will give us all of these things. It will give us the mean and the standard deviation, both the sample mean and the population mean, which actually are the same thing, and both the sample and population standard deviation, SX and sigma x. The calculator will also give us the five number summary under one var stats and the sum of x and the sum of x squared. The calculator will also give us the sample size, n, but that is fairly minor compared to the other statistics. To get our calculator to do one var stats, we first got to get our data into the calculator. To enter data into the calculator, we will press the stat key, which is near the arrows, stat, and then we want to edit, so we just press enter since edit's already selected. And then we want to enter our data into the first list, L1. We actually already have data in L1 and we want to get rid of it. To get rid of it, we can highlight the name of the list. So scroll up to highlight the name of the list. And then we press clear to clear the entries in the list. And then we also have to press enter. So highlight the name of the list, clear and enter will clear all of the list. And then we enter the data. One, enter, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that we have all our data in, we should really check to make sure that the data is as we've entered it. And now that we've checked our data, we want to actually calculate one var stats. To get to one var stats, we will press the stat key again. This time we want to scroll to calculate. All of our calculate functions are under CALC. And then the first option is one var stats, which stands for one variable statistics. We only have one variable in L1, and we want to look at the statistics related to that one variable. So we press one, and then by default, it will do the one variable statistics of L1, and all of our data is in L1, so we can just press enter and it will give us x bar, which is both our population mean and our sample mean, the sum of the x values, the sum of the x squared values, sx, which is our sample standard deviation, sigma x, which is our population standard deviation, n, which is the sample size, and then if we scroll to the bottom, we get the minimum value, q1, the median value, q3, and the maximum value, which is our five number summary that we can use to help construct the box plot.